Hello and welcome to a speedy LDD tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to render using Blue Render to render your LXF files created by LEGO Digital Designer. So let's jump right in. Uh, I'm going to use this Millennium Falcon model. Uh, I already have this model saved out. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to, uh, to download Blue Render. So if you search if you search for Blue Render, the first result will be the Eurobricks forum, uh, specifically the thread that actually contains the download this page. So if you scroll down, it'll have the download. You can download Blue Render version five here. So I've already done that, and I have it unzipped right here. And I have my LXF file in here. It doesn't need to be in here. It can be anywhere on your computer, uh, but I just put it in here for convenience. So if we double click on the blue render dot bat, we get a whole bunch of errors. Java error, oh, there's problems. So what we need to do first is install Java, uh, Java 8, as it says here in the uh, instructions that it requires Java 8. Uh, I've also downloaded that already. So I'm going to install that. And we'll just skip over this part. Okay, so Java has been successfully installed. And I've just run into a problem that uh, you'll probably run into as well. And that's if you have Lego Digital Designer open when you try to use Blue Render, uh, it will cause an error. And I'll just demonstrate that right here. So I'll open a model and then I'll click on Blue Render. And you see it, it errors, you don't get the uh, the GUI. So what you need to make sure is that you always have Lego Digital Designer closed if you're going to use Blue Render. And there we go. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just select your input file. OK, and you select your output file. I'm just going to leave it the default here. And you can, uh, it's always a good idea to do the wireframe preview first because it'll give you a good idea where the model's going to sit in your scene before you spend the long render time actually rendering it out. Okay, so now with all of that set up, I'm just going to click render. Okay, and we finished rendering. It took about six minutes to finish. You can see our final image here. I'll just open up the actual image. There it is. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, there's a few settings you can uh, affect within Blue Render. You can uh, change the size and the background colors, as well as you could act. You can actually render a complete turnaround of of your model. Um, you just select Enable Steps here and specify the number of frames you would like uh, it to render out. So you could render like this would, if you were making a video at 30 frames per second this would basically do one rotation every second. All right, next time I'll uh, show you how you can import your uh, models from Lego Digital Designer into Blender to get some really hyper-realistic uh, looking renders. Until next time, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.